Director Judd Apatow and Pete Davidson are bringing their movie, The King of Staten Island, to a TV screen near you. Yeah, Apatow took a call, a Zoom call, with Fox News' Patrick Clark to talk about the new movie from Universal Pictures. Here it is. Growing up, I, I liked comic books. And uh, I know about, back to your movie, your character, and uh, Pete, he uh, is influenced by comic books. Yeah. Uh, were you, and is this a secret superhero movie? <laughs> well, I guess you could say that. It could be an origin story. It's an origin story. When I was a kid, I was really into the Fantastic Four and X-Men. Those were the comic books that I bought as a, as a young man. And then I went away to college, and all my comic books got lost when my dad moved. Oh. And secretly, I always thought he sold them. You know, in the movie, you deal with a lot of uh, very real themes. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of great humor in it. Uh, but the way Pete looks at the end, that look, I'm like, Oh wait! Uh, I need to relook at this movie one more. <laughs> well, it's uh, there's, there's all sorts of things uh, planted there. There's a, a a kid in it, the child of uh, the man who's dating his mom, uh, played by Bill Burr, and and his son invents comic book characters, and so that is a a runner in it. And Pete is very judgmental of the powers of the comic book character. The kid uh, wants to create like a a, a character who does stuff with ice. And Pete's like, it, it doesn't work. The ice melts. What, you can't find anyone in Miami? During, uh, during this pandemic, you know, I, I, know, I know you've got to be working on new stuff. How do you do it? Like, like we're doing right now? Uh, I, you know, I'm just taking long walks in the morning and seeing if I can get my imagination to kick in. There's so much on all of our minds. It's hard to get in that gear where you leave reality to think of things. And so I found the only way I can do it is I take a two and a half hour walk almost every morning, and sometimes something occurs to me. Most times, nothing, but sometimes. <laughs> Tattoo restaurant. Uh, yes, yes. Bill Burr's mustache. Yes, we made Bill Burr grow a big mustache because firefighters are not allowed to have beards because of the masks. Uh, and so you are allowed to have a mustache. He has a very, a larger mustache than I thought he would go for. It is, it is a thick, a thick mustache. And uh, so, and what was the other one you said? The, oh, uh, uh, well, the, the tattoo restaurant. Oh, yes. That Pete's character dreams of opening up a restaurant where you also can get tattooed. And everybody <laughs> tells him it's a bad idea. But in real life, I think one of Pete's friends is going to try to do it. You know, a lot, a lot of the movie is really a love story, story between Bill uh, Burr and Pete. It's about, you know, can you let a new father figure in, in, into your life? And Bill has you know, his ex-wife, played by Pamela Adlon, and his his children and you realize that a lot of what you're seeing is going to be the merging of these two families and you know as a child of divorce you know it's always uncomfortable when you have to let in those new parental figures uh, and that's what a lot of the comedy of the movie is about nice talking to you patrick nice meeting you thank you so much